So welcome back everyone, Mike here. It is early Saturday morning and I have a really, really busy day planned today. Uh, a few things I gotta take care of. I need to get a fireworks show ready uh, for tonight. Our neighbors, uh, there was a big wedding at their place tonight. Their daughter's getting married. And so probably around 10 o'clock this evening, I'll be putting off a little fireworks show over there. So I need to take care of that. I need to uh, get all our grass cut today. Uh, I haven't cut it since before we went on vacation. And with probably a foot of rain since the time we left till today, it definitely needs cut. Uh, I need to clean a bunch of stuff up. I'm trying to think what else. I might even get a little bit of firewood in today. We'll see how that goes. And uh, But right now I'm going to go for a little walk. It's about, I don't know, 20 after 6 in the morning. And then I need to run to the store to get some liquid nails. And I'll show you how to put a, uh, you know, kind of a simple firework show together. It'll be pretty nice. And uh, we'll go from there. So if those kind of things interest you, stick around and uh, we'll see how it goes today. I'm back. That was uh, let's see. Just 2.4 miles this morning. It's not too bad. But I gotta go pick up supplies, uh, some supplies for the fireworks. It's shaping up to be a nice day. A lot of people think uh, fireworks are really dangerous, and they can be. They really can. But uh, there's a couple things you can do to make them less dangerous. And that is, like preparation, that's number one. And don't do anything dumb, that's number two. As far as uh, preparation goes, I like to uh, get you know some scrap wood, whether it be OSB board like this or plywood, something like that, and glue. I use liquid nails, glue everything down. That way, you know it's dark out, things like that. You're not tripping over stuff. Occasionally, one of these could you know fall over, point towards the crowd. These are just little 200 gram cakes, but they are uh, they pack quite a punch. So I like to use, like I said, 
secure everything to some boards and I find the best way to do that is just some liquid nails and when you do that these have a little bit of paper on the bottom you want to cut that off you're not going to hurt them at all just rip that paper off you don't have to get it all off you just want to make sure you get that liquid nails on these little tubes in here like so and the other thing you always look for where the fuse is the fuse is on this side so you keep all those fuses on the same side so when it's dark out and you're lighting them you know what you're doing Okay, I got all the cakes ready to go. I'm gonna start working on the mortars. These are mortar racks that I built. Uh, you can use these, you know, year after year after year. And these mortar tubes, this is HDPE pipe. What this stuff does, different from regular PVC, if something goes wrong and something would blow up in the tube, it'll just kind of expand and split. It won't shatter like PVC. And then these regular mortar tubes, they also have wood plugs in the bottom of them, and that helps you get a little bit more lift out of the shell. So uh, that's them. I'm going to go get some mortars, start loading these up. Okay, these are triple mortars. Trees just trying to free a reckless heart. He's trying to be a slide, slide as a breeze. The queen of art. test here make sure this is just regular fuse and not fast fuse I had it uh, thrown in a box in the garage and I'm not sure which it is that's pretty quick okay that first fuse that I tested was definitely fast fuse it burns at about uh, two seconds per foot this is hopefully This stuff here is regular fuse. It burns at about 25 seconds, maybe even 30 seconds per foot. This is what I want to use to uh, hook up that finale rack. Yes, like I was saying, this is going to be one of the finale racks. And uh, so remember, these are triple triple brake shells in there. So there's 20 of them. That'll give you 60 brakes. This is two feet long. So that's going to take about a minute to get from one side to the other. And what I'll do, I'll put fuse on both sides, light them both, so they both go off at the same time going down. So you'll have six or 20 shells going off with 60 brakes in one minute from this one rack. 
if you can see, I put these little eye hooks here on these racks and make it very handy. I just run the fuse through. Tie a little knot in the end. It's pretty uh, rigid, kind of hard to tie a knot in. So you got that. Then I'll put a zip tie at this end to keep it tight. And then start hooking them up. And when you do this, you always make sure your fuses are all going the same direction. So these are all going to be hooked up this way. What I like to do is just get a bunch of zip ties on there. Then all you do is take the two ends, trim that one off a little. So that's pretty much it right there. All you do, Fuse it all together. I'm using the regular fuse there, so like I said, it burns about 25 30 seconds per foot. This is two feet long. Once it starts firing, it takes one minute, and you have 20 shells going off, and they're triple shells, so you've got 60 breaks in one minute with this rack. This will be part of the finale. Now, the other racks that I have, what I'll do is probably just bunch four together, zip tie the fuse together, and I can just walk by with the torch as needed and light those ones uh, but this is one of the finale racks should work out pretty good she come out of break of night in the pink skies waving goodbye All right, I got all the fireworks ready for tonight. Should be a really good show. It's only going to be 10 minutes long, a couple songs. It'll be pretty good. We'll use that Bose system that we used over the uh, 4th of July party. Always like to have music with the fireworks. I think it's a nice added touch. Uh, next up, I'm going to go just grade up our driveway real quick. It's not too bad at all. I just did it a couple weeks ago. Uh, but when we were on vacation, I think I mentioned we had tons and tons of rain. And uh, most of it was a steady rain. Uh, but we had a couple real hard downpours and uh, it's not that bad but when you got a 55 horsepower tractor with a seven foot land plane you just take care of it like i said it was great two weeks ago but what happens is all it takes is like the ups man one time you know to try backing up here get to hop in the wheels a little bit and it just goes downhill from there then all the heavy rains and stuff so i'm going to touch this up real quick because there's going to be a bunch of people Parking in here, pulling in and out, and get it all fixed up. Clean up
Got the driveway fixed up. Now I'm going to take some fuel over. I have a generator over at the neighbor's house. Uh, we're running a bunch of lights off of it. They got a huge tent and I don't know, there's probably a thousand feet of party lights over there. So uh, part of them were running off my generator. We took it down in the woods a little bit. So I'm going to go fill it up with ethanol free gasoline and uh, I'll be right back. So you may be wondering about the title of today's video, what do tractors and fireworks have in common? Not much at all, except I have a blast with both of them. <music> 